Welcome back to more church. So it's time we head out again. We got some crabs to to gather to catch. I think we can do that. Let's do that now. Just makes make some quick money before we really start the day. So those crab pots are going to do what they have to do. Yes, I got a crab for your order. Lovely. Uh, sell the rest. Let's undock and see if we can get some materials. Dredge. Worn golden ring, sure. We had to go this way. Um, go to the back side of the second middle island. There's more dredging to be done here. Bolt of cloth. Dredging costs a lot of time. Skull of a giant beast. A key. Chess key, <laughs> damn. Um, I have found the key at least. I find a music box in Gale Cliffs. I find the ring in Stellar Basin. Necklace in Twisted Strand. Watch in Devil's Spine. Bring it back tomorrow. Can we fish this? We're going to get an aberration, maybe. We can place you like so. What's that thing? It just attacked me. Oh, that's not very nice. We 
lost a fish because of it. Huh. We got a normal crab. Common crab, yeah. Repairs again. Mm. Yes, I got you a crap. Mm. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of those mutants? I think they'll get sick. <laughs> well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. <laughs> oh. The fisherman, my man, I don't think that's a... <sighs> splendor. I don't think that's a... Uh, good idea for you. Um, the builder needed wood and... Uh, lumber and scrap. Dry dock. You need lumber. You need to clump. You can do another light slot. I uh, don't know. I want a dock. Storage. Tomorrow we will bring the key to the to the guy. First we'll rest. It's getting attacked by those big fish. Ain't ain't fun. Um, plenty of crap. No, I'm not going to fish here yet. Plenty of crap. Plenty of crab and plenty of crab. All right, so let's head to the collector. Give him the key. And then we'll go back while fishing some stuff. We need some money. I want to buy the, the big, the big rod. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding that silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. <gasps> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The gold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seems changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Hmm. Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows ag agitated. It seems the pieces we were looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision. You stagger back briefly. Mm. Go, now go. We have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the east of southeast towards Gill Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? 
The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there one particular you wish to know more about? Haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Hmm. Are there other powers you wish to know more about? No. How long have you lived here? Hmm. Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt, basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? Do you know who owned those relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. <laughs> An old friend. Anything else? Where should I look for relics? Well, he already told us. Alright, so let's go. Um, so we have to go here. It's quite quite a quite some distance away. got haste. Okay, so let's get some fish. So we're going to need some more money. We're going to need a lot of money, I think. I want to buy the other rod. Many-eyed mackerel. Hmm. Oops. And we got a new trophy cut. Lovely. Right, we are full, so let's head back. So I think if we fill the bar up, um, then we're in, then we're in trouble. What the hell is that sound? I don't like it. Gale plates dotted with eyeballs, superfluous but scanning. Frantically, our eyes see right through you. Oh, and we finished this one. Rods will reel fish in 10% more fish effectively. Nice. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. What were you expecting? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. <sighs> what's, with the, what's with the fog around here? Nobody knows. It changed recently. It lingers in the mornings now. Where before, it didn't seem to have the strength. Even in the middle, in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice concealed in shadows, waiting for night to sweep the island. She glances up at the lighthouse. <sighs> if this light should ever falter, then gods help us. Okay, okay. Uh, let's ask the mayor around. About a wider, wider region, the Blackstone Isle. Hmm. hmm. I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of Little Marrow. I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. And it must have had a special arrangement. Such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. 
I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite uninhabited. Gale oh. Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is called Ingvel. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. Stellar mm. Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe fancy, get, fancy getting your hooks in some of those. Is there another area you would like to discuss? Twisted hmm. Strand. I don't think there's much to tell, it's just a dangled mess of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You would want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you go out if you go exploring there. The devil's spine. Ah yes. It's quite exciting really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution, caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water. I would surely tear through your hole. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt any moment. I can occasionally hear drumming from here. Hmm. Uh, do you know about shipwrecks? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there must have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps. But even it, it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back though, it's a little hard to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You want to avoid that area. Strange yeah. occurrences. Well, I heard that my counterpart in Little Marrow met the un most unfortunate end. They say he went quite mad suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some d days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mare is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included. And those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. The most unpleasant subject. Last fisherman. The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He would go out at night, come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly ru running aground on the reef. Even in broad daylight, the shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left us, never came back. So long he shan't be missed by us. Hmm. The builder... Why do you want to leave? There are too many painful main memories here. I don't want to be living them anymore. It's a bit a bit difficult to talk about. You know how it is. It doesn't do you any good to dwell deeply into on the past. What do you know about the area? Greater Marrow? Well, it once was a bright and thriving little town, if you can believe it. There, were pr there was plenty of work for me and my crew. New houses and shops every month. I made a fair bit of money out of it too. But, I don't know. I guess the bubble burst or something. I don't know how these thing, things work. People started leaving. My crew left. I stayed. Right, so we go to the fishmonger. We have a mutant fish. Many, many eyes. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what a fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They are of no use to me. Research parts. Nice. Hmm. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. 
His face gr grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. Alright, right. Take it easy, boy. Fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Hmm. Right, so let's do that. Um, research. If we want to go to the volcano or. Wait, our current ship. Can we. We cannot do oceanic, so I think that would be a good first choice. Or we. Upgrade. Let's get the hydraulic rod so we can do oceanic. Um, and let's get the better engine so we can get. 15.8 eight knots jet drive engine stick five parts so this costs 410 and 460 but then we get less chance for aberration ab aberrations that's okay, and the two of these engines are 200, so we need about a thousand safety bucks, yeah. Well, let's un... Um, if we go and catch fish, then we can't sell it since the f fishmonger is closed off. Still barred. So that's a bit crappy. So then we need to sell our stuff somewhere else. Possibly here. Um. Let's go to the to that location. that we go the right way and don't damage our engines the sky turns red Going good, yeah, a bit more that way. I want to make it there before dark. Ooh, cool! Some nice orcas. <laughs> be surprised if they will mutate as well at some point you will get the orcas with uh, tentacles or something additional eyeballs of course it's a, it's, a, it's a nasty one uh, let's see if we can 
sell some stuff here. Infel, Infel Residence. What is it? Do you need help or anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we considered aged conger eels to be a particular deli delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me aged conger eel? Sure. Um, where can I catch them? A bit tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. Imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. And they only come out at night. Uh. Hmm. What can you tell me about the cliffs? Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used to kill cliffs as a hideout. Supposedly they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There's certainly a large, large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. The treasure hordes left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they would be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Any old characters around these parts? Now have you, third, have you heard the tale of Magran? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magran, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of those trips. He says the scrolls told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Graham the Fishman. One day the town awoke to find all the boats, nets and lines had been slashed in the night and old McGran was nowhere to be found. Nor has he been seen since. Where can I sell my fish? We catch our fish ourselves here so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost everything and she does repairs too. Right, across the bay. So, I suppose that's over there. Rotting conger eel. Vessel, the SY Grand Prize. Michael Schultz. Oak Music Box. Purchased from the antique Antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from a disclosed, undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask. Set to be protected against evils. 12 piece T set. Bone china. Do not use. Jar of earth. Traveling merchant. Ahoy there. You are a new vase. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. We should get along like a fire, uh, like a house on fire. Haha. -ha. I'm a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Right. Mm. Might be used to dry dock at other ports, but we can make the same upgrades to your boat. And they even hold the same stuff. Ooh, we can upgrade uh, 
our end. Oh no, we still need uh, timber, lumber. Say, so, yeah, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with a fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'll never forget anything. Anyway, she was saying... She said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, maybe you can check on her. Sure. Fish markets. Let's sell everything. Nice. Um... Ooh, that's a nice spotlight. A lot better than what I currently have. If we sell you, then we can buy you. Alright, so let's we'll get the eels later. So that could be here. Maybe here. Alright, so let's go to the other dock. man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. ah. Oh, ah. Greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time, truth be told. I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone, cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfell. Oh. It's not that simple. My brother would never, you see. I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now after all this time, I can't return without it. Why don't you give it back to him then? Again, it's not as simple as that. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into the wretched barrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but... If you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the word world to me. I'll look ah. for it. Thank you, but please be careful. Ah. Uh, do you know any shipwrecks? Someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rungs, rocks and sunk to the bottom. They, they were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat, decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. A low tide, I can still see what's left of the masthead poking through the waves. What's happening to these cliffs? They're being consumed from the core by that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? Nobody believed me, not until it started devouring our foundations, opening chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the middle of, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. Tell me more about the creature. I've been burrowing, bur burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes it leaves just below the surface. 
as it forces its way out, it often causes rocks fall, rock falls. So if you plan on going there, keep an ear out. Should it got, got, catch sight of you, well, you should be able to run, outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageways. Ooh. That sounds dangerous. Let's see if we can uh, So the creature is a big glowing eye thing. Bag of the blooms. Hmm. So we need to keep a good eye eye out. pile of loose debris and the gaps between the rocks you can see what appears to be a large white teeth. find a eel. We can get out this way. Ghost ship. I see. Hmm. Suffering words. Hey again, comfort chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. The oarfish, the gulper, eel, the goliath, tigerfish, and the gola can. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Mm. Tell me about the oarfish. Given that the oarfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they will live in reason reasonably deep and what calm water. Maybe the shelter of gill cliffs would suit them. Gulper eels. 
You'll be ill to live at the deepest depths imaginable. You have to get some specialist gear to catch, e to catch one of those. The lie of tigerfish. These guys are legitimately, legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters, using the shade of trees as cover. Actually, I have no idea where Gora Kakakans might be. But they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? I think they are at the... Um, Okay, now I think. Have you ever mm. seen strange things out at sea? Strange things, plenty, plenty, but I tried not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know. Ah. But hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe you're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are, and they're incredi incredibly <coughs> dangerous. Better not risk it. Are you always out on the water? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. The, mer the merchanting is secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is sometimes, which is only sometimes nice. Well, there's Ingvo, just across the bay, which is a dreary little whaling town. The folks there are always in need of something, which keeps me in business. The residents are always talking about the cliffs. Most seem afraid. Frankly, I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep rumblings from within the rocks. I don't hang around here for too long. Right, so we got one research Parts. Three days, so two to two or three per day. Four by four, two percent apparition. Five days, about two per day. Four by four, two percent. Three days, about two per day, more capacity. Mm. Oh, um, I cannot do that one yet. This one is oceanic, but both of these aren't oceanic. I'll keep... Uh, oh my! Engine got damaged. Somehow. Catch rare fish. Sure. Um. Mm. Well, we have to repair. And then we'll go out, I guess. So we need to catch. Scary glow. A pile of loose debris. Clearly, this would take some strong explosives. Can judge here for something. Research part. Always good. There's a fish here. Blackmouth salmon. 
And we need the money. Decaying black mouth salmon. Shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. We are quite a bit fearful. So we might want to sell our fish and then go to sleep. Okay. That was unexpected. Um. So everything. We need the money. Alright, so let's wake up. Let's try and catch some eel. Let's fish first. Tiger mackerel, right? Bearded mackerel. Played macro. Two aberrations in one go. That's cool. Rendered flesh with muscle and bone exposed. This gory mesh of a fish can't have lived like this for long. The wispy tendrils sprouting from its mouth and flanks continue to wither long after the fish has stopped flailing. flailing. Huh. Let's sell them and then we'll go back into the between the caves. Mm. Let's um get haste ready. In case a serpent attacks us. We've already seen that one. Already got this salmon. Wait, press press F when a ball reaches the zone. Oh. Stonefish. Fish. Right, but we need to get the eel somewhere. Let's go 
oceanic. I think they go. I think the eels are going to sleep. Get a bit of timber, that's what we need. There's also shipwreck here. Silver trinket. I think it will be worth more. Right, so let's hurry up to the fish market. Sell, repair, go to sleep and then go back inside again for the night. we have now is access access mm. like so um, let's rest let's head out again Don't ah, oh, both of our fishing rods are damaged. Damn it. But we can still fish. What do we need for those eels? I think it's that one. They are in shallow at night with a rod. 
rock suddenly. I'm not going that way. It's the stupid snake it showed up there multiple times. This is a stone fish. Oceanic. Here we can dredge. I'm not going to dredge. this ah family crest we needed that here we got some of those salmon salmon let's just uh, get them Always discard them. Like so. So we can go back to the hermit. Um, what do we have here? Quite a few shipwrecks. Stand in the center of a campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out of the wind. Look for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with the hasty sweep of a foot. We check the makeshift tent. The tent is a sh sheet of cloth suspended over over some sticks. There's nothing inside. Save for a smoothed hollow in the dirt where someone slept. A large flat rock sits atop the charred woods of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Kick the ashes. Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. You brush the rem rem remnants aside. You take it. You got another. Um, research part. We got a ring. So I'm thinking about next next time in the night. We'll go back to the hermit now. And then we'll deliver the crest. Pirate flag. We'll sleep and the next time in the night we will... Um, Go 
a bit around and go through the other the ways. Let's check if we can find some eel. Hello again. Um, do you know how I could clear the debris around here? Ah. Mm, you probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Info used to make explosives for the whaling operations. You see, nasty stuff. But with all the wheels gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. Is this your family crest? You found it. I've never thought I would see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. To take this to my brother, brother at Info. Tell him, tell him, his brother is sorry. I would like to come home. Sure, we'll sleep for a bit. That way, it's safer to travel as well. All our fish is still. Worth less, but still worth money. And we really need some money. Um, fish markets sell fish. Storage. You, you, pirate flag. Okay, uh, shipyards, repair. On dock. And go fish at the brother. Oh. Didn't pay attention. We'll visit the brother, and then we'll uh, call it today. Mm. What is it? Um, what can you tell me about Info? Info used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the wheels got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us barely scraping by for a new candle. So a lot of things happened 20 years ago when uh, that guy took over the uh, Body Island. Have you heard any strange things in the area? Some time ago, just after the last will was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships passed, dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. Anything else? Oh, they're shipwrecks. The real wreck around here is the sediment at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's forgetting his decision now, the devil. Mm. Heard you used to make explosives? Aye, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the, the more pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into into it. I might be uh, able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, but I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. I'll, just, I'll have a use for some explosives like that. Alright, I'll think on it some more. But I make no promises. I believe this quest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. Hmm. So he did take it. I knew it. The brother is sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm, I don't know if. I, w I was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. 
I need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the, through the cliffs to make a shortcut. With explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly une unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. I just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Sure. So next time we will do that. Uh, detonate explosives. So thank you for joining me again and see you later.